Under cover of darkness, it was anything but a low-key arrival. As the Cunard liner Queen Elizabeth slipped into Port Melbourne at 5 o'clock this morning, 60 illuminated drones took off from shore to fly in strict formation above. The unconventional welcome to the ship's 2,000 passengers included a Christmas theme as well as a distinctly Australian touch. I think it's something that will be go down in history on the Cunard fleet as something that's never been done before. Ship's captain Simon Love will skipper the Queen Elizabeth on a series of summer voyages of up to 25 nights in Australian and New Zealand waters. We've got Christmas Day at sea and Boxing Day before we arrive in field land in, in South New Zealand and then we spend the week going around New Zealand ending up in Auckland for New Year's Eve before coming back to Melbourne of course to change over our guests again. Australians are now among the luxury cruise line's best customers, many travelling to Britain or the US to get on board. The brand's gotten to a position where it feels that enough Australians want to travel that they're actually bringing the, the ships to the Australian market for, for Australian passengers to be able to get on in their, in their home cities. The Queen Elizabeth sails tonight for Tasmania and then New Zealand, but we'll be seeing plenty more of her. She visits Melbourne eight times between now and the end of summer. Dean Felton, 7 News.